Hey everybody, Epitamus. How you guys doing today? So, for those of you who may have noticed, or may have not, whichever, this video is for Alia. For my couple of first reactions that I put out week-ish ago, I started using these stamps. So this video, as you can probably tell by its title, is me going through my review of stamps and whatnot. How many I got, when I'll use them, what they're for, and so on. To start us off, we have my personal recommendation stamps. And this begins with the Effet stamp. Pretty self-explanatory. Anime's crap! <laughs> Whatever it is that I'm reviewing is crap. That's all that needs to be said. Worth a look. Now this would be for anime that I have not seen the entire show. Whether it's a new show coming out and I've done a reaction for it, but it doesn't appeal to me and thus I am not going to continue to watch it. Or it is an anime that has been out a while or either way is completed and I have dropped it because of something. It's not total crap, but I have not seen it and therefore I don't really want to give a real like set recommendation for it because I don't know how it turns out. So I'm leaving that up to you guys. The recommendation stamp. Pretty much worth a look, except I've actually seen all of the show, and it, it was okay. I mean, I liked it. Either it was average, meh, the score would also tell you this, but I had a lot of fun watching it, and it was enjoyable, and it didn't- there wasn't anything about it that made me drop it. I would kind of just, in between anime, I would throw this one out there for anybody. Tamus approved. It was more than meh or average. It's one of my favorites. I had a lot of fun watching it. The stuff was actually good. It was above average. And I would recommend it to anyone because it was good. It's one of my favorites. And I like supporting anime I like. Tamus approved exclusive. Tamus approved plus genre specific equals only recommend it to certain people even though it's still one of my favorites. Yes, the show is one of my favorites, however it is very genre specific and people that I know that are not into that genre, even though I love it, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to them because I know they have a hard time watching that type of anime or show. However, I strongly recommend it, similar to Normal Tame is Proved, to people that I know like that specific genre. So if you're sitting there watching it and one of those pops up, if you like that genre, you're probably gonna like the show. If you don't, you're probably not gonna like the show. Finally, Tamus's Choice. Tamus Approved plus, um, Can't Live Without equals awesome stuff. I don't know why I did that. I really don't. I shouldn't have done that. Let's continue. Tamus's Choice is essentially my favorites above my favorites. Take a favorite, take a favorite, which one do I favorite more? Which everyone does, that's a Tamus Choice versus a Tamus Approved. One of my all time favorites versus one of my favorites. Beloved favorite. Simple. I think. Next, I know these ones are kind of generic, but they're still here. Stream it, buy it. Either the show is just really long or it doesn't warrant me spending the money, money to go buy it when I can just watch it online. Buy it for those anime that are just short enough to warrant actually going and buying it because that it won't be all too expensive and that actually deserve to be bought and the stuff that really does deserve to be on your shelf. Good, scarce, whatever it may be, it, it either way it deserves a spot on your shelf and I make I want to make emphasis of that. 
Lastly, we have my two favorite stamps that I'm in all by myself. My Check Out the Other Side stamps. I have the Check Out the Manga side and Check Out the Anime side. So for when I review an anime and it's either crap or it's good, there's something about it that makes me go and read the manga and get a decent way through. And if the manga is good, I will also put that up there. Hey, did you like the anime? Guess what? The manga is also good. Go check that out. Or, hey, this anime sucks. The manga is so much better. Go read that instead. That would be the scenarios. This also applies to the check out the anime side. Now, I do want to point out one thing. I've never heard of a bad manga where its anime is better than it. But if the anime for the manga is also good, or better, I will put check out the anime side. So that way you guys get my recommendation for if you're wanting to start to read mangas, I can kind of maybe push you guys to read some of the ones that I've liked and that you might like, uh, vice versa for the anime and whatnot. So those are all my stamps. Um, if it is a first reaction, it should only ever be a personal recommendation stamp because I haven't reviewed it so I can't really say whether or not to buy it or stream it. And unless I already have seen the other side of it, there shouldn't be a check out one of the other side stamps, but it may happen. If it is a review, um, there will be a personal recommendation there will be a either a buy it or stream it and then depending one I would have to have either read or seen either the anime or the manga and they also have to have been any good for me to recommend that you go and check out those sites so at least two maybe three for the uh, reviews depending if I've seen the other side or not and if it actually ends up being any good one other thing along with the stamps, um, I'm kind of changing how I am scoring things too. Um, I used to have it where I'd have these five areas, story, characters, animation, sound, my own personal enjoyment, and I would have like a base of two, and then I'd score each of those out of two, and then i add that up, and that would be your score to ten. And I'm not doing that anymore because it's a lot harder than this new way I'm doing it, which is I have a scale of 1 to 10, and I will score each of the five areas, and then I will average them. And then that will be your score out of 10. I have already done one anime review, and that was for The Sad and All, of, All Alone, since it is the only one I've done so far, over in High School Host Club. Um, I gave that an 8 out of 10. Um, for all intents and purposes, I would most likely give it the same score, so that will stay the same either way for anyone who cares about that. So that's all the new stuff going on with the first reactions and reviews. There will also be first reactions for um, anime and manga, even if it's already long running manga. Um, depending on what it is, I will read a little bit of it and then tell you my thoughts and then if it's good I'll just keep going with it. And there will also be anime reviews and manga reviews. At least. But I also want to do movie reviews and things like that. And depending on what happens, I might do first reactions and reviews for other things. But who knows? I'm open to it, but I don't really have anything to uh, do in that area, so who knows? Maybe my friends just finally get me in the supernatural and I have to say something about it. As I gotta go, this is taking a little bit longer because I kept getting interrupted and stuff by my grandma. She's doing a family reunion thing. So I will leave you now. You guys have a good time doing whatever it is you do. Have a good time. No. Gotta do this right. Have a good time doing whatever it is you do, whenever it is you're doing it. Yeah. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Johnny. So guys, tell me what you think about my new systems and stuff. Comment down below, all of that. 
Also comment what kind of stuff you want me to either look into or review, and I will try to do that if anyone actually comments. But still do that. My first two first reactions linked over there. The first two new anime reviews will also be linked somewhere on the screen. Anyway, you guys have a good time. Uh, Johnny!